Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. So a couple of days back when Samsung announced the Exynos 1080, I have to admit I wasn't all that interested. It is the spiritual successor to the mid-range processor, the Exynos 980, and that processor was kind of blah. However, after that, we've learned some more about the processor and I think we need to talk about it. So let's get started. So first off, I need to tell you about the difference between Antutu and Geekbench. We've been talking a lot about Geekbench on this show, but we haven't spoken a lot about Antutu. The basic two differences that I can see on both the mobile benchmarking software are First, Geekbench seems to be more cross-platform. It even does desktop and laptop CPUs. Second, Antutu seems to have a combined score combining things like CPU, GPU, 3D, UI, UX, whereas Geekbench primarily focuses on single core and multi-core. Now we've got that out of the way, let's talk about the Exynos 1080. The Exynos 1080 is the spiritual successor to the Exynos 980. The Exynos 980 is the processor that Samsung gave away to Vivo and it can be found on phones like the Vivo X30 and X30 Pro and the Vivo S6. Yes, Samsung gives away some of their best technology to Vivo. For example, the Samsung GN1 sensor, which is a lot better than the Samsung ISOCELL 108 megapixel sensor. Just saying. Anyway, the Exynos 1080 is supposed to be a 5 nanometer processor versus an 8 nanometer on the Exynos 980. It's supposed to have the Cortex A78. It does not have the Mega Cortex X1 core. And thirdly, it's supposed to have the Mali G78 GPU, which is two generations ahead of the Mali G76 GPU found on the Exynos 980. Now, what's interesting here is that the Antutu score of the ASUS ROG Phone 3, the current fastest Android phone, is 615,000. That one has the Snapdragon 865 Plus. The Antutu score of the iPhone 11 Pro Max having the Apple A13 chip is about 524,000. Okay, wait, there is one benchmark in the world where iPhones are slower than Android phones. Anyway, the Antutu score of the Exynos 1080 is supposed to be 650,000. Yes, the mid-range processor from Samsung seems to be faster than this year's flagships. However, there is one important thing to note. Next year, the Snapdragon 875 is probably going to be about 20% faster and the Apple A14 chip is definitely going to be more than 20% faster just this year itself. So definitely both those processors will overtake the Exynos 1080. However, it's definitely a big jump from the Exynos 980 which only had an Antutu score of 330,000. What do you guys think of the Exynos 1080? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, please go over to YouTube and subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel. Ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next episode.